Thanks for tuning in to Endergon is Female. I'm Lady Love and I have Chris with us. Hi, I'm Chris. How are you doing today, Love? I'm chilling. I'm grateful for another day. Yes. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. I'm um, excited. Yeah. So, one of the main reasons, there's a few things I want to talk about today, but one of the main reasons um, I wanted to have you on the show today was to talk about your vegan lifestyle and kind of like that whole um, transition mm -hmm. into the vegan lifestyle because I know you are Cuban. And so, just for me, you know, being a Latina and mm -hmm. wanting to make the, tra the transition into a healthier lifestyle where I'm not even fully vegetarian but I don't eat meat like on a regular basis or anything mm -hmm. like that and I even heard some like backlash from my parents you know and and just friends who've decided to choose this lifestyle who are from a Latino or black culture and them hearing you know things from their parents like remarks mm -hmm. so and so like when you were transitioning like what was like what did you encounter like mm -hmm. just to give advice to people who are trying to make that transition or mm -hmm. Yeah, so the family thing that you were saying, your family will definitely judge you, and mm -hmm. that's okay. Um, so many people don't understand, um, you know, the purpose for why we want to eat healthier, or they don't care to understand, or they don't, mm -hmm. like, like, they don't want to put in the work. Yeah. Like, ultimately, like, I feel like when people make fun of vegans, they're just, like, kind of scared of commitment, or mm -hmm. scared to, like, make that leap of faith, knowing that it will better yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, when I first started to cook like for myself and not only cook for myself but cook without meat for myself like it was so weird I'd be like okay so I have rice I have beans mm -hmm. I have you know all the seasonings that I use mm -hmm. I have the avocado I have the maduros but it would feel so weird to me because I'm just like okay even though like mm -hmm. I was never even a big huge meat eater to begin with it was uh -huh. still always feel weird to me to eat the plate but I mean I feel just as full sometimes I feel healthier like mm -hmm. I have my rice my beans with my salad like on the side yeah. you know if I want to eat my Hispanic you know food for that day like it's that's still available yeah yeah, it's still available mm -hmm. and like if I make if I eat sancocho like I just don't put you know chicken in it like some people mm -hmm. are gonna be like oh I'm not sancocho then it's like yeah. okay yes it is like <laughs> you can't tell me like that I'm not still within my culture and like mm -hmm. those kinds of things just because I'm living a healthier lifestyle mm -hmm. like you know I feel like people make certain um decisions with their meals because that's all they knew like and because that's just how society evolved. Like In 2019, the vegan movement has grown so much. Um, you know, back then, like, no one even knew what the word vegan was. Like, mm -hmm. they thought it was, like, a disease or something. <laughs> like, what is that? But, um, you know, it's it's really at our fingertips, um, you know, there's farmer's markets, there's mm -hmm. Coconut Grove Market, Yellow Green Market. Mm -hmm. um, and you're, sorry to cut you off, but you yeah. actually go to the Coconut Grove Market, right? And you and your yeah. brother make, like, delicious vegan yeah. tacos. I haven't tasted yet, but I could see the pictures yeah. and they look yummy. Yeah, my brother sells um, tacos, um, mm -hmm. vegan tacos. That's also a game changer. Um, you know, like, uh, many Mexicans or, like, authentic um, people who know what real tacos taste like, they have been there and like, whoa, this is actually like oh, good yeah? and it's vegan. That's like, pretty cool. I always like uh, compare it to Roja Vieja or Barracoa because mm -hmm. um, the mushrooms are like a mixture of uh, shiitake, oyster, and cremini, and mm -hmm. he like marinates it very well. And it's okay. like on local leaf corn tortillas, which is just corn. And I love corn tortillas. Yeah, <laughs> me too. You're <laughs> making me hungry. <laughs> I know. I love like any type of Mexican food. I can eat that for yeah. the rest of my life, honestly, yeah. because like. This is a different subject, but also with fasting, that has helped me to to analyze, like, am I hungry or am I craving something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um... Like, to kind of check in with your body, because I haven't really... I haven't really fasted, like, from food. Like, sometimes when I forget to eat, I say, like, I'm fasting. But yeah. <laughs> it's like, I haven't really, like, fasted from food before, but just becoming more aware. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just... I just listen to my body, like, do I need more of this right now? Yeah. Like, am I eating this because I need this, or am I eating this because my mind just is going to what it normally would do. Mm -hmm. So that's just to go off of what your point yeah. was. And a lot of times um, when people eat like super delicious things, mm -hmm. obviously they're indulging more for the pleasure of the food exactly. rather than the nutrition. Uh -huh. So at the end of the day, it, it comes back to like putting in work. Like mm -hmm. you might have to sacrifice some pleasurable desires of yours if you really want to like fulfill a, health, a yeah. healthier lifestyle. Like 
they will not always like be super tasty but you could train yourself to love these fruits it's and true. vegetables mm -hmm. and like only when i went vegan i was able to expand my palate and try so many different things yeah. that i have tried before mm -hmm. and i love it rather than going to like the basic things you know that your mom yeah, always made exactly you're able that to like sense. expand your spectrum of like and that that goes in like it creates like a catalyst a butterfly effect for other things in your, in mm -hmm. your life um you know you're more open to seeing what other people have to teach you yeah um and like religions like mm -hmm. not only sticking to one religion and like learning stuff from different traditions and past yeah. things and like just going with your own journey going mm -hmm. with the flow so no yeah so i love you don't have to be so hard on yourself mm -hmm. um you could you could make healthier decisions like step by step yeah. um I don't like people to like think this is like a cult. Yeah. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. a lot of people think that. Yeah. Are, they have like, a lot of things. They'll be like, oh, they think cults. they're better than everyone. Or, yeah. Like, things like that. Mm -hmm. Which is not true. Like you know, I mean, every vegan is different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a 99er. I have <laughs> I have raw honey, uh -huh. um, local, um, and unfiltered because I feel like my body accepts it with gratitude, and I don't see it's like harmful, um, the harmfulness to it, mm -hmm. like as opposed to dairy for the body. Um, so yeah, just like, just, if you see vegan options, like, just go for them because yeah. like, you'll feel better mm -hmm. and, um, you're supporting like the, you vote with your dollars. So it, you'll see more of that once you start supporting that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And even if it's like me, like I don't eat, you know, me all the time. So it's like, you kind of have to do what fits best for your body. Like mm -hmm. if you want to do that decision and you want to go like, 100% vegan like you decided to or you're just a vegetarian or a pescatarian or like me I'm just you know whatever I mm -hmm. feel like doing <laughs> at the time you're like, vegan. So, like exactly <laughs> vegan. yeah so I think it's just about finding what works for you mm -hmm. and speaking about that so you also you shaved your head for like a couple of years as well right and mm -hmm. what was that experience like for you oh it was amazing um <laughs> <laughs> it was a really fun um you know stage of my life um I felt, you know, I felt a sort of rebornness um, mm -hmm. within me because when I when I shaved my head, I didn't really know why I shaved my head. It was partially because my hair was completely damaged, like I had bleached it and it was yeah. just like no longer okay. Um, so I let go of, and I felt like metaphorically for my life, it was me letting go of all that no longer served me. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I was able to renew myself in a way because I just felt lighter altogether. I was yeah. able to like renew myself and you know have new hair growth. I was shaving my head for a long time though, um, because I liked the way it made me feel. Mm -hmm. Like I, you know, was navigating with more time on my hands. I didn't have to focus on my hair so much. Um, I felt that I could also read people um, and their intentions with me. Um, as a woman, I feel that um, sometimes. How do I say it without being like all over the place? Um, I so I felt like I did it as a defense mechanism for guys not to hit on me. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, like, not to say that I was like ugly or something, but like you know, in, in today's society, like all the beauty ads have like long hair yeah. or like it's like wholesome, voluminous, beautiful hair, um, or that's like their definition of it. And like, um, you don't see many bald women. But, I mean, now you do. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, people... It's still not as common, crazy. though. It's yeah. You still... I'm sure those women still get mm -hmm. looked at a little bit differently, or... Like, some people would think, like, I was lesbian, and it would just be, like, awkward. Um, but, you know, it, it was cool to, like, analyze and just, like, mm -hmm. feel that out. Um, so, letting go of my hair, I've, I always tell people that they should do it, like, at least once in their life. Mm -hmm. Just because, it's like, if you feel like you need to let go of a lot in your life, and you're going through, like, a big transformation, like... That will help you, um, you know, flow with ease within those transformations going yeah. on because it's like a butterfly effect. Like you do that, and then you're you're know, like no longer taking the shit that you used to take. You mm -hmm. know, like because I think it's like um, it's like learning how to let go of your attachments. You know, mm -hmm. and like knowing in this, especially in the materialistic world, we're attached to a lot of things that are with are outside of us. You mm -hmm. know, and having attachments, we know it. 
relates to a lot of pain. You know, you have an, yeah. you have when you lose something, exactly. a phone or or something happens to your car. Like it's, it's understandable what happens to people who are a part of your life. Mm-hmm. Why you would have an attachment to them, mm-hmm. but I think something like shaving your head, it's a practice in that releasing of attachments, which is why you probably had all of these doors kind of open up for you because mm-hmm. you had to learn how to find beauty in yourself in other ways exactly. other than your hair. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I definitely allowed you know my my free spirit to blossom a little more because um, sometimes I felt like with my hair as well, like I could I could use it as like a, a hiding mechanism. Mm-hmm. Like I could like cover my face a little bit with the hair and I don't have to look at people like in the eye, mm-hmm. you know? Like when, when you're bald, you kind of have like nothing to hide. Behind. Yeah. Like, it's like this uh-huh. is me. Especially like, as a woman when yeah. we're so used to our hair, like it's uh-huh. a focus, mm-hmm. you know? But um, I'm definitely ready to start growing again. Mm-hmm. And um, I it looks good. Th- thank you. Um, I only put like castor oil and like coconut oil and just stuff that is nourishing mm-hmm. for it. And I don't want it to be damaged because um, also, you know, hair is an extension of our antennas. Like I feel more connected to nature when you're able to like. Yeah. When it's, it's healthier. Yeah. When it's healthy, you know, mm-hmm. it's like this is coming out of our head. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, that's true. crazy to even think about. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm grateful for that experience. Um, I know that I, I definitely like touch a lot of people around me because even within like my close family members mm-hmm. and friends, like I, I felt like I did it and then my cousin did it and my sister did it and like three other friends did it. And we, I had like an event where, you know, it was for women's empowerment mm-hmm. and um, whoever was down to shame, yeah. they did. It was your, it was your bald, bad and bougie event? Bad, bald and bougie. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, that was really cute. I mean, I felt like those events inspired me, I mean, not to shave my head, but, like, mm-hmm. just to just look more at attachments and, like, how I view them. So I started to do it with releasing clothes that, like, mm-hmm. I, it's just taking up space. And I just started to look That's at cool. everything, you know, if this takes up space, what do, yeah. do I want it to be in my room? Like, yeah. you know, like, everything. Like, what's its purpose? Exactly. Why is it here? Like, just it because is. it's cute and I just wanted yeah. it or just because I had a random like mm-hmm. impulsive decision or yeah. just because it's this someone gave me this I don't even talk to anymore like you know what I mean like <laughs> yeah I hear you. so mm-hmm. I think it's really important lesson in attachments and just you know trying to live a healthier lifestyle altogether and whatever helps you get there I think mm-hmm. is great you know because yeah. it's like your journey is gonna look so different from my journey from the person watching this mm-hmm. so I just want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much. And you can let everyone know where to find you. Yes, my name is Chris. You can find me on Instagram. My um, at name is Chris Catalyst. That's uh, Chris, K-R-I-S-C-A-T-A-L-Y-S-T. And thank you so much. I'm grateful to be here. Yes, thank you for coming. Subscribe, like, share, you know. You know what to do. <laughs> <laughs>